All right, the big Sunday night matchup between the Bills and the Chiefs. Let's dive into this one. We'll take a look at the Bills offense first. Uh, again, first time around, it was about big plays by the Bills. Bills got big plays in the pass game. They got big plays when uh, Josh Allen bought time with his legs, and they got big plays from Josh Allen's legs. Came out early in this game, and they ran a couple quarterback runs early on to set the tempo. Such a huge advantage for um, this Bills team, especially down in the red zone, to have a quarterback that can run between the tackles and run all of their run plays with their quarterback, get a lead blocker with their back if they want. They can use their back in the pass part of the concept, an RPO concept, and still run their power run game with Josh Allen. Gives them a huge advantage, but it's more about that big arm to me. Can they force Josh Allen to have to throw checkdowns? Can they force him to go the long distance in this game? And can Josh Allen have the patience to do that, to make the right play instead of having to make the big play? That'll be key. So we all know that the Buffalo Bills offense is all about that guy right there. Run pass, doesn't matter, all about Josh Allen, but really what makes him different is his ability to run between the tackles. A lot of quarterbacks can run the zone reads and get out here and save themselves and get a few yards on the outside or out in space, but it becomes different when you've got a quarterback that can run between the tackles because you can run all of your runs. You can pull offensive linemen, you can run draws, you can lead your back, you can do everything in your normal run game that you would do handing it off to a running back, but you can do it with your quarterback. So you can use this guy out in space to force guys to get out of there and still run the base of your run game. So here's a look right here. We're gonna run the zone read right here. So we're gonna read this guy. We've got a lead blocker. He could easily hand this off right here and we got a great look off to this side, but these guys have to move this direction. This guy holds just enough. Now we've got, as you see, we're going to pull both our backside guard and tackle. We can do that because we can hold this defensive end. We're gonna kick, we're gonna lead, and our big quarterback can run up here. But he blocked and just carries people into the end zone difference maker with his legs okay doesn't just have to be in designed runs you're going to see right here as josh drops back he's going to look right and he's going to see carry carry he's going to see man as he turns back to look to this side he's going to see an opening knowing it's man-to-man -man coverage boom i can just take off i know it's not a designed run but i see that they're going to carry see this carry carry knows he's got all kinds of space There'll be times that both these quarterbacks, but Josh Allen will just take off running because he knows that he can make a big play when everybody else is running man-to-man -man across the board. So it starts there. The first drive that they had, the first time they played, two designed run plays right off the bat for the Bills to let the Chiefs know, hey, this is going to be an all-day thing, that I'm not afraid to run, and we're going to call those things, and we're going to make it an advantage for us. Okay, a play that the Bills are gonna run a bunch. They always run this deep over. A lot of different combinations, could be a go. They could run a double post. Uh, what looks like double overs, they'll run all of this stuff, but they're gonna try to hit this deep over a number of times in this game. So here they're doing it with Dawson Knox. Okay, so they get the clear out here. This would be a shot, good job by the corner to come back here. If this guy's tight enough and jumps that, then the post is a shot, but really it comes down to a flat and an over, reading that flat defender, even though this linebacker, again, doing a nice job of trying to hunt that up and see it, doesn't matter. Josh Allen drives this row, could put it out here a little bit more. He does that and he runs through it, maybe even a bigger play, but tries to drive it in there, gets the completion, 23 yard play, Told you this guys, this game was about the big plays that the Bills hit and the lack of big plays that the Chiefs got. So here we go, play action, fake to reverse. What do we got? We're gonna run here and we're gonna run the deep over once again. Good job covering it here by the Chiefs. We're gonna run and go there, but that voids that area 
right here. You've got your swing. If this guy were to run back and void it, but nice job by Josh Allen here, not to force it, not to force the over to see that. Now let me replace that guy with my check down. And you see, don't always have to throw the ball long ways to get big plays. Look at this. They're all bailing out. Good check down, the right decision, and it leads to a 24-yard play. That's something that Josh Allen continues to get better at, is not forcing the ball down the field. Be patient. If you're the Chiefs defense, that's what you want. You want to force him and show me you can be patient for an entire game and not try to push the ball down the field. But he's gotten better at that. Okay, here we go. We're going to run this crossing route here. Got a little quarters coverage. We're going to get this safety to turn inside. Great. Now we're going to lean and run the seven pump. And you're going to see just a rocket throw. Great throw right here. Josh Allen slides over. That even brings the safety even farther. All you need is a little bit of leverage. Boom. Ball up over the top. Just a great throw to Emmanuel Sanders. Big play. Touchdown. Again, these were the difference makers in this game. Okay, you're gonna see Josh Allen check here, check here. So what the Chiefs love to do, it's what I call a two robber. So they're gonna go here or they're gonna go here. And actually this is Sorensen here, he's gonna run back. So it's gonna end up being a two high safety look. And then Tyron Matthew is the robber guy. He sits down here in the middle and he's got such great instincts that he gets to rob whatever is coming here, and he gets a lot of interceptions, his hands on a lot of balls in that situation. So there they go. I'm gonna run back, two, two, robber. All right, so what we're gonna do right here is what we call a honk route, okay? So we're gonna push to the corner, and then we're gonna come back to the post. Great protection up front, giving Josh Allen time. But you see it right there. I'm gonna sell Sorenston to the corner. Boom, he turns. Game over. We got somebody holding the backside safety. Tyron Matthew is taught to do just this, right? He's robbing. He's trying to take one of these things underneath. He's not supposed to run deep. So there's your hole into the middle of the field. 61 yards later, Bill set up for another touchdown. Big plays set up touchdowns in these games or get you touchdowns. Okay? We're going to run double seams as they rotate down. Rub double seams, double goes. We got, well, you know, we don't have what we want because they're running, man. We don't have a great look either way. Another time with the legs. Boom. Find some space. Get outside here. You get outside, right? There's a way for you to take off running. Tyron Matthews playing a robber spot. He's eyeing Josh Allen, so he's going to take away that run there. But you're going to get Dawson Knox to separate because this guy's such a freak on the run. Boom. Throws another one down the field. 53-yard touchdown. Those were the plays the Bills got, not plays that the Chiefs made in this game. But with that comes the confidence of saying, I can make every throw. It's like we talked about. You're going to have to be patient. What are they running here? Just what we talked about. They're going to run the double over in this particular case. Okay, so as we run that, right, the throw that probably should be made is right here. Uh, if you're reading to that side, if you're reading back to the other side, it's tough but still probably the check down because there's a guy sitting here. But what's Josh Allen going to do? He's going to buy time and he's going to launch it up there to his guy. And the prayer is answered. Dawson Knox making another great catch just like we saw last week as he kind of threw that one away. Big play. It's a 41-yard play right there, but not the best decision. It works out. You're happy. You're excited. It's awesome. But it leads to that confidence of saying, I can make every throw, and you got to be careful in those situations. So here's another one, I'm gonna buy time. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna throw it up. I get it, I see what he sees, thinks he's gonna have a shot here, but there's a safety back here. I'm gonna launch this one up. It's gonna to lead to an easy interception here and a chance to flip the field for the Chiefs. So just something to look for. He's gotten better at getting to the check down, not forcing the ball down the field. Can he do it for an entire game? And when the opportunities are there, can he stay aggressive and attack down the field? Going to need both of those to get the win in Kansas City. Okay. We always talk about the feet. The feet, the feet. Okay, so here we go. We got the double post again. They're dropping everybody back. They're trying to force you to go underneath. Got the over coming here. They're looking it up. 
Just got to bring his feet. Okay, we'll see this a number of times. Falling away to his left. We've seen him make this throw a number of times. But now it's going to cause some issues at times. Just You got room. Flip your feet and drive this throw. And he makes that throw probably every time. Instead, misses another opportunity for a big throw right there because didn't bring his feet with him. So just something to always keep your eye on with Josh. He gets away with it so often because he's so talented. But bring your feet, bring your feet, bring your feet, bring your feet. Because again, you need to make all the throws when you're getting to this point in the season if you want to move on and go to the Super Bowl. Okay, and we're going to finish with this one. Down in the red zone, they love to do different kinds of RPOs. They'll do all kinds of them. I documented some of them last week. Here, we're going to go flat. We're going to go corner. And then we're going to wrap Dawson Knox back this side. So we read the defensive end. He sinks. Normally, you're coming out looking at this, looking at this. But this just shows how special Josh Allen is. He's coming out. Probably has the flat right there. I mean, the flat right there is easy. But he's trying to bait this guy. And then I just want you to look at this throw. Boom. Right in between two defenders. Tyron Matthews saying to himself, oh, I could have had that. Well, you couldn't have had it because it was too good of a throw. But be smart. And again, these are difference-making throws that you're never going to argue because you got to make those difference-making throws in these games. But that may have been the smart throw. This one is the Josh Allen throw. And when he's playing like this and he gets away with it, that's what leads to wins against good teams as long as it's not a mistake. But great job there by Josh Allen. There's a look from the first time around. Big play, big play, big play, big play, touchdown, big play, touchdown. Change the complexion of this game when you can get those big plays uh, against a good football team, especially when you can put those plays in the end zone. It allowed the Bills to pull away in this one because the other side, the Chiefs offense, which we'll take a look at next, did not get those big plays.